story in Suka. We have some new information to tell you about. We're learning that there were 50 students, up to 50 students, inside this synagogue when this happened. This 23-year-old Israeli student stabbed by the suspect, and police are saying that they were forced to shoot in self-defense, and they have that videotape to prove it. I want to show you the crime scene right now as we speak. It is very active here on East of Eastern Parkway. Detectives all over the place trying to piece this one together, but it was a violent scene inside the synagogue as that 23-year-old Israeli man was stabbed by a 49-year-old man. They are now saying, police are saying he was a homeless man. He allegedly lunged at police and that that police officer was forced to shoot. We have that videotape just moments before it happened. Watch, watch as it happens. Hit the mark, okay. Yeah, that is the police standoff as they tried for several minutes, as you can see, inside the Shabbat Lobovich World Headquarters here on Eastern Parkway, a synagogue as well, to try and have him drop that knife, tell him to drop it. It was 1.40 a.m. when the suspect allegedly was asking for a book first, possibly a Bible, walked out, returned with a knife, stabbed a 23-year-old student, Israeli man, in the neck. Police on patrol just outside called to that confrontation just moments after it happened. The man then lunged at police, as we saw on that videotape, and they say they were forced to shoot in self-defense. Now, that man, that 49-year-old man, allegedly homeless, was rushed to the hospital with a bullet to the stomach where he later died. Now, back out here live, you can see still a very active scene as they're trying to piece this together. We are told that the 23-year-old Israeli student just underwent surgery, uh, and he is in stable condition. You can see up there they're on the third floor. You can see the detectives still working this scene as we speak. Now, that videotape is going to be crucial, again, back here, uh, to what exactly happened inside that synagogue. We'll have that, of course, on Pix11.com. We'll have all the latest details throughout the morning. For now, we're live in Crown Heights. Monica Morales, Pix11 News.